Let us understand LCM in this video. So what is LCM? You can find out LCM of two or more numbers. To understand this, let's take as an example two numbers, 10 and 15. Okay, so LCM stands for least common multiple. Let's go by words here, least common multiple. So it contains multiple. So we have to find out the multiples of these two numbers. So multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Basically it's a multiplication table and so on. And multiples of 15 are 15, 30, then we have 45, 60, 75 and so on. The next word is common. So what are the multiples that are common in these two numbers? So 30 is common, then 60 is common and they may, there may be some more common multiples. Now it says least. So least of the common multiples, the smallest of these common multiples is 30. So here the LCM of 10 and 15 is 30. That's going by the words. But the definition of LCM is that it is the smallest number which is exactly divisible by the given numbers. So that's basically the same thing. Least common multiple is the smallest number that is exactly divisible by the given numbers. So 30 here is exactly divisible by 10 as well as 15. So it's the LCM. In any exam you need faster ways of calculating LCM. So out of those many ways there is one prime factorization method of calculating LCM. Let's do this with an example. Let's calculate the LCM of 24 and 60. So in this method first you have to calculate the prime factors of the given numbers. I have already calculated the prime factors for you. So the prime factors of 24 are so 24 can be written as 2 cube into 3 and 60 can be written as 2 square into 3 into 5. By the method of prime factorization LCM is a product of all prime factors with highest powers. So let's write the product of all prime factors first. I'm not talking about common. The union of all these prime factors is 2 into 3 into 5. With, and it says that it is a product of all prime factors with highest powers. So they have powers. Now we need the highest powers of these prime factors. So the highest power of 2 when all of the prime factors are combined is 3. So we have 2 raised to 3 into. The highest power of 3 when all of the factors are combined is 1. So both of them has 1. So it becomes 3 raised to 1 into 5. So the highest power of 5 is 1. So let's again revise this. The first step is to find out the prime factors. Once you find out the prime factors, you have to get the product of all prime factors. So you have written all of the prime factors, 2, 3 and 5 here. And the highest powers of the factors come in these boxes. So here, highest power of 2 is 3. So we have 2 raised to 3. 3 is 1. So that's why we have 3 raised to 1 and 5 raised to 1. And if we solve this further, this comes out to be 8 into 3 into 5. That gives us 120. So this is the LCM of 24 and 60. So that is how you calculate LCM by prime factorization. Along with this, there is another method of calculating LCM. It is done by dividing the numbers by prime numbers. So following are the steps of this method. So let's follow these steps and find out the LCM of 24 and 60. So we write the numbers 24 and 60 like this and then we divide it by, we keep on dividing these numbers by smallest prime numbers that can divide both of them. So we would start with 2 and uh, 2 can divide both of these numbers. So 
if we divide 24 by 2 we get 12 and if we divide 60 by 2 we get 30. Again these can be divided by 2 so we get 6 and 15. Now these cannot be divided by 2 so we get we can divide these numbers by 3. So by, if we divided them by 3 we get 2 and 5. Now we have got prime numbers in the last row so we stop. So going by these steps we first divide all numbers starting from the smallest prime number. So we have divided these two numbers starting from the smallest prime number that is 2 that can divide both of these. And we have to stop until we get prime numbers in the last row or we get 1s in the last row. So LCM is we have to multiply all of these numbers. So 2 into 2 into 3 into 2 into 5. So that comes out to be 120. So LCM is 120. Time for a question here. What is the LCM of 50 and 125? And here are your options. So we would solve this by dividing these two numbers by prime numbers. So let's do this. We write 50 and 20, 125. 50 and 125 like this. And we divide it by the smallest prime number that can divide these numbers. So I think 2 can divide 50. So we write 2. 225 is a 50. And he, we, we can't divide 125. So we just have 125 right there. Now 3 cannot divide any of these numbers. So we go with 5. So 5 5 is a 25. 5 25 is a 125. Again we can divide this by 5. So 5 1 is a 5. 5 5 is a 25. So we have prime number here and a 1. So we can stop here. So LCM is equal to 2 into 5 into 5 into 5. We, we have taken these numbers. 2 into 5 into 5 into 5. So we can always ignore 1. So this comes out to be 10 into 25. That is 250. So there you go. This is your correct option.